Hey guys, Terrific Jamie today with and we're back with Fruit Basket episode six. <sighs> Last episode. Whoa, oh, heartfelt one. Toru wanted to stay with the family and she got to stay with the fam. Keo and that boy both went and brought her back and it was a good great scene overall. And I love how he stood how, how the grandfather just literally came in and just savaged his family. It was like pipe off basically. And then she's returned back to the boys, which is all good. So it means we get to uh, continue the happy days at the house and we see how things will progress relationship wise relationship wise between the characters and we're probably going to now now it's set our characters and now ones they're probably going to start slowly introducing the other members of the family the other zodiac animals so i'm interested to see what their personality like and see if they're any good see if they're any good and interesting and i wonder if there's going to be any more ships in the show so currently i'm a um, toru and kyo shipper i wonder if there's going to be other ships in the show though i've got other characters and yeah i do love the uh, dog i forget his name the dog guy i love it i love it i love it i think he's such, such a chill and cool dude you know what i mean what a guy but anyway, apart from that, guys, if you enjoyed the video, guys, please like and subscribe. I am doing other anime, seasonal anime, along with a few live action shows if you want to check them out. And I always appreciate a comment because I do enjoy reading your guys' comments. It's, it motivates me to keep doing this, and I do enjoy reading them. But yeah, Fruit Basket, been solid so far. Hopefully, you can keep going as I'm enjoying it quite a lot. And yeah, I'm. I'm one well, really want to see how this series is going to unfold if it's going to be like a clan ad after story or is it going to be like school life i'm really interested to see if, if it goes into adulthood or not but other than that let's get into this <laughs> for sake no it's not it's not kind of blitz <laughs> what what have they done to him oh one way to start <laughs> Does he actually? <laughs> Why would you feel bad? See, the original um, character doing this was Klaus from Final Fantasy VII. I'll never forget that day when I played that game. What creature are we then? <laughs> and rabbit. Distraction. The great sacrifice, for fuck's sake. About to get kicked. There we go. Illusion 100. How did they get him in the outfit in the first place? <laughs> I swear Toru is like the simplest be most simplest most innocent being on the fucking anime planet. <laughs> oh is Yuki trying to get his shit moments in? You're too late, mate. Keo's beat you to it. Someone's about to get grilled by the girls. She knows nothing about him. <laughs> Wait for Fumble got professionally art on it. She probably into that bug. You gotta 
Dog guy's like the master of knowing when to leave the room, isn't he? There's going to be an like, little arc where she gets a memory took off, I assume. Not an evil face at all. <laughs> oh yeah, when Jules when they give when they call her a vegetable. <laughs> oh, is that Kiho? Or is it Yuki? I assume it's one of those two. He led into oh, he led into the house. That's either Yuki or Kyo. I can't tell though because of the hair. It looks more like Yuki. Led into the house and all. Oh. It must be Kyo because Yuki didn't really leave the house. And they would have shown him at the door, wouldn't they? So. Which one is it? <laughs> See, I thought it was Kyo then, but then it switched to Yuki in the room. You can always have more than one best friend. As the stranger things. She was way different with our glasses. Is that already at the end of the episode? No, because I. To be found guilty from drinking from the uh, carton. Would have killed you. That would make someone very suspicious if he said that. Ooh, this is where a problem occurs. Oh, the guy who... Uh, It was a woman in the image. They wouldn't show that, not on purpose. Did he know her mum? I mean, did, did he know Teru's mum? Doesn't look like them. What do you guys think? 
obviously a lot of you watched previous anime, so you probably know. Bit of a fun friendship episode, just to get our friends up to up to speed is nice. <clears throat> and not for sure, not forgetting about is always a good good good. Show not forgetting about if friends are, is a good thing. Boy, from the flashback, see, I would say it's Yuki just because of the hairstyle, but then they put a lot of focus on Kiyo. So I don't know which one it is out of the two of them. I don't really see Yuki leaving the house, but I like how um, running away was made pretty much him guiding. Whoever it was was guiding her back. I'm assuming it's one of those two, which was pretty neat of them to do. It's an episode. Nothing spectacular, but from one overall. And I see, that, like I said, the friends, and then the, the comedy was actually quite decent in it. Then a bit more of the festival. Like I said, then we've got this guy introduced who wiped the memories of all the previous people they knew, so that's going to be interesting. I don't see that was the situation called for at the end of the day. The people's memory needs to be wiped when it gets out to too many people, it turns into a problem. So, yeah, I can understand why they need to wipe people's memories. But from that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the reaction, and I hope to see you next week. So, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and peace.